<clears throat> so first up, just I lost my train of thought there. Soz. <coughs> Welcome back to the world of Craig. So if you've seen my hairstyling essentials video, which I will link down below for anybody that hasn't seen it, I have used a little bit of R and Co before. The, the lovely people there sent me some products to try and I immediately fell in love with their Trophy Shine and Texture Spray, which is now a kit staple. I can't be without it, it's fantastic. Um, I can tell you a little bit about R Co. It was set up about five years ago by three American super stylists, one of whom is Garen, who is a complete icon of the hairdressing industry. He worked with Madonna a lot in the 90s, around the time of her Bedtime Stories album, um, but he's worked with just about every single, you know, megastar that there is, and his work is dreamy. If you don't know of Garen and his work, then Google him, check him out, you'll completely fall in love, he's major. So I'm gonna run you through a few of my favorites from the R Co range. <laughs> So first up, and another new favorite of mine, is Grid Structural Hold Setting Spray. Now, you can tell this is one of my favorites because it's almost empty. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. I took it to the MTV EMAs recently, um, where I was using it a lot because it's, it is an amazing product. It's super workable, but it has a lot of hold and a lot of memory. If you've seen any of my other hairstyling videos, you know that I like things that have a lot of memory because I like to put wave and you know bend in the hair, and this really does deliver. It's quite unusual, and I was a bit wary of it at first because it's an aerosol. Um, normally I like something that's in like a pump and that can actually sort of saturate each section. But the results of this stuff, really, really surprising. I was working with Laura Whitmore at the EMAs and we do that kind of beachy, wavy hair. And this not only gave me lots of volume, I could work with it section by section and actually spraying it onto the hair, onto dry hair, and then working with it. But then when I went in with a tong or an iron, I found that it really, really gave me the memory, the shine and the bounce that I really, really, you know, that I'm all about. I'm all about shiny hair, touchable hair, but hair that lasts. If someone's hair's got to go through like eight hours, then I, you know, I don't want to use something that's not going to deliver me the results that I need. So I am now a huge fan of Grid Structural Hold Styling Spray. So something that's quite new to the R & Co range is Skyline Dry Shampoo. So this is quite new to me as well. Um, I have been using it quite a lot. It's, it's an unusual delivery system again. So we know dry shampoos like their kind of cult Death Valley that I've been using, which is really, really nice. It's a very fine dry shampoo. It's kind of, a dry shampoo is dry shampoo, kind of, until you've used this one. So I love Death Valley, but the reason that I love Skyline, it comes in this kind of like pump delivery system. Oh, there we go. So I've just covered myself in dry shampoo. And it's somewhere between Death Valley and slightly gritty, like a slightly more powerful dry shampoo. So I was using this last weekend for extra volume. Um, it is a dry shampoo, it does have that kind of texture, but again, like the Death Valley, it doesn't leave the hair very powdery or very white, but you can get extra volume. So I was also mixing it last weekend with a tiny little bit of um, wax, just a little bit of wax through the hair first, through the hairline and crown, and then apply a tiny little bit of this, shake it out, and you get that extra volume. So I reckon I'm gonna be using Skyline a lot more. Next up, it's Badlands Dry Shampoo Paste. Now, as far as pastes go, this is great. It's really fantastic and it does the job. I have to be honest, and if you've seen my other um, hair care videos, you'll know that I'm not really a sort of waxy paste kind of guy. Um, this does, for something that is like a dry shampoo paste, um, which has like a kind of standard paste texture, it's quite matte, 
it is quite a greasy product I find. Once you kind of emulsify it in your hands, it does have a slightly greasy texture. I was using it last weekend combined with Skyline, which I just talked about, and I found it worked really, really well, but it's really super, super concentrated. So you only need to use, you can see I've had this for like three weeks and I've been using, I've been trying it out a lot, and you can see I've hardly touched the surface. There's only just a couple of little finger marks in there. So you only need to use a tiny little bit. I mean, you know, it's a great product and it does what it says. It makes the hair slightly gritty. It gives it a little bit of texture. And if you combine it with other products, it really does give you lots of volume. But I'm just really not somebody that uses a lot of paste and finishing products of this kind of type. If you're a guy, um, you've got really short hair, it would be fantastic, like short, thick hair. Um, but I really am someone that uses a lot of sprays um, and mousses rather than something that's kind of greasy like this. So another kit must have for me is Sail Soft Wave Spray. Now, I've just mentioned that I'm a huge fan of sprays. I think that I can control something a lot more when I'm using it if it is in a spray. Um, and not only is the packaging of this beautiful with these, all these little sailboats on it, like all the R Co packaging is very original, you know, really pretty to look at. It looks lovely when it's all in my kit bag together. Um, this really delivers results. This is like a, like a salt spray, like a surf spray, except again, what's really unique about this is that it comes in an aerosol. It's, this is quite a wet aerosol, this one. It, it is wetter than the setting spray um, or grid, which is like a spray gel, which I'll talk about in a minute. But it is a gritty kind of texture spray. What I was doing with this, um, or what I have been doing with this the last couple of weeks, is prepping the hair using another product to give the hair volume and body and a bit of hold, and then spritzing this through and then rough drying it in and then going in with a tong or a straightening iron to create my waves. It, it's really, really cool because a lot of the surf sprays, the salt sprays, they're very, very gritty. And if you use too much, you can't actually get in and do very much with the hair. Whereas with this one, it's really workable. You can layer it up with the other products and it gives you that beachy textured look. I used it on Laura last weekend to refresh her hair really quickly. We had like eight minutes in between shooting something. And um, I just literally popped her head upside down, spritzed the roots with this, rough dried it in, and it gave me that hold and that slightly gritty textured feel. It really is a new favorite of mine. So next up, we have Grid Defining Spray Gel. Now, I haven't used this much. I've used it two or three times. It's r and Co's kind of pitching it towards curlier hair. Um, it is what it says on the tin. It's a spray gel. I found that it does have quite a lot of hold, this one. It's quite, um, it's not like a crunchy product. I don't think any of the products are really crunchy and, and overly wet looking. But I diffused a client of mine's hair in the salon with this. She's got really, really um, full textured hair that's quite, it tends to be quite frizzy. And I don't really, didn't really use any serum on it. I just used this one product just to test it out. And it does give you great hold, but hold that's really touchable. So it's not a case like a mousse where you dry the hair in uh, with a diffuser and then you've got to crunch the product out. So a very movable, stylable, workable product for curly hair. So now we move on to Aircraft Pomade Mousse. Now, when I first got this, I assumed that it was a mousse. It was like a like a volumizing mousse, which I am quite a fan of. I do like um, like a soft hold mousse as like a foundation product when I'm doing something that's got to last all day or red carpet. If I'm doing like very long hair styling, then I like to put loads and loads of mousse through it, dry that in and then work with other products to build it up. This is not what this product's for. It's, it is like a pomade. So it comes in like a foam, looks like a sort of shaving foam kind of texture and it is for creating like beachy, more textured styles, that kind of languid, lived in, kind of sexy hair. Um, I actually, I love it. I've, I have only used it half a dozen times. 
um, in salon and on a job, but it really is fantastic. Um, just rub that in there like that. You can see it kind of foams up, like a bit like a shaving foam, except um, it does give you that, also that slightly salty texture without being sticky. I mean, that's, it's kind of basically disappeared into my skin. There's no stickiness to it at all. So again, this has become, a, become gonna become a kit staple because it's really great for transforming something from one look to, a neck, to the next. I would also say it's probably a really great holiday product for women with very long hair that don't want to use something that's like a, an alcohol-based styling spray, want something that's softer, but it's going to give them like a beachy, slightly more slicked look without actually setting. It doesn't have any setting or hold to it. So I'm completely loving Aircraft Pomade Mousse. So uh, uh, let's not do that. So I have one kit bag in my session kit that is all thickening sprays. So I was really keen to try the Dallas thickening spray from r &Co. Now, my go-to product is this kind of spray um, when I'm working on hair because I quite like a wet thickening spray, volume spray, volume lotion, whatever you want to call it because I like to really work, as you know, I like to work something into the hair, dry it in as a base to then put everything else on. I do use mousse, as I've mentioned sometimes, but I often go to like a thickening spray because I can, often working on dry hair, I can spritz it into the hair, saturate the section, blow dry it in, and then do whatever I want to do with it. I have been a huge fan of Orbe Maximista. I would say that this is similar to that, um, it gives you the same kind of plumping effect on the hair. It is not sticky at all. Um, I've got, a, I had a mini of this as well that I took with me on a job recently and I used pretty much all of it on really, really one head of very long hair and there was no stickiness at all. Um, I've been using it in salon as well on clients and it, it really is a kind of workable hold. Um, definitely one to try out, it's Dallas, thickening spray. So there we have my roundup of my favorites within the R & Co styling range. I haven't tried any of the wet line yet, the shampoos and conditioners, but I'm sure at some point I'm gonna give those a go and maybe there might be a wet line shampoo and conditioner favorites video coming soon, who knows? I would definitely say if you're looking for something that's gonna give you maximum hold when you're using heat tools, then that would be the grid structural hold setting spray. Definitely one to try out if you use a lot of like hot styling at home. If you like that beachy surfy look and you're someone that air dries their hair at home or a hairdresser that, that really, you know, that's your kind of aesthetic and you like things to be really soft and tussled, then I would really say that the sail spray is one for you. Definitely become a kit staple for me, I love it. And if you're someone that likes a lot of volume, and likes a lot of memory in the hair. And again, fantastic for heat styling to protect the hair. It has to be Dallas Volume Spray. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. There's lots more videos coming soon. There's a couple of really fun ones before Christmas that I wanna film, so stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.